Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to Tourist Bus Simulator. It's been a long long time I know and a lot of updates have happened since the last video. Are those clouds actually moving? They are aren't they? That's super cool. Is that new? Anyway, in this video, in this episode, we'll be featuring the recently released VDL Futuro FHD2 and I bought one for our company. This cute little guy here, the smallest variant I think. So this DLC costs around 1515 USD, comes with 6 variants of this bus and we'll be checking out the, I guess the smallest variant is this one with 2 axles, 2 doors. I'm guessing the other ones have 3 axles, maybe 3 doors, who knows. Uh, there is, I don't think, a way to preview buses in Tourist Bus Sim, but uh, in Fern Bus you can do so. And how they did it is when you buy the DLC for one game, you also unlock it for the other. So if you have both games, you will have uh, unlocked both buses, even when just purchasing it once, which is cool. Anyway, I've been trying it out just a bit, just to get a feel for it. As always, the modeling, the uh, sound effects, so immersive, very nice, subtle sounds. Kind of scary though when that flips over, kind of feels like it's going to hit us. Is that, what is that red thing? Looks like a fire extinguisher kind of deal. Or maybe not, maybe those are hydraulics. Anyway, you guys will probably know more than I do, so you guys let me know, hit it up in the comments and let me know if you enjoy this video, alright? So I know I would have an indication if uh, you would want to see more. Hit the like button, thumbs up, comment if you do enjoy it. Anyway, let's go inside and take a tour. Very nice plump seats. How many seaters is this? Five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Around 50 seater, more or less, maybe? Something like that. Oh, yeah, by the way, I uh, repainted it to the local. I think this is a real company. Transport de Fuerteventura. Something like that. But I kind of like the colors, so let's go with it. Right? Anyway, let's go and sit in the cockpit <laughs> close the door very nice sound effects and let me turn off the music so you guys can focus on the ambient sounds yeah let's go and start the engine very nice hot there engine start for the win Let's rev it a little. That is definitely audible. Not a squeak anymore. I think they updated their sounds as well. They learned quite a bit from before. Is there actually smoke coming out? There is from the exhaust. Not so echo friendly, huh? <laughs> Anyway, let's also uh, tinker around with the switches. So the switches are for the doors. Yeah, that's okay. This one looks like it's something for the driver. Maybe shifting. Because that looks like a 1 and 2 there. You let me know what this is, okay? But this looks like a driver kind of deal. Measuring the time and the distance. Driver's light. Pretty cool stuff. Passenger light also works. Reading light clearance, those guys there, very cool. Locking the luggage doors. Announcement, I guess that's only something for Fern Bus. Hello and welcome to Flixbus. <laughs> something along those lines. Turning off the monitors. Restroom and Wi Fi. Wi Fi is always on. Automatic particle filter cleaning. I like the sound of that. Warning lights also exist. I had some trouble trying to find the air conditioning here, but apparently it's located in a different panel. I'll show you later. This is how the panel looks like, the front. 
and when you turn on the lights they reflect accordingly high beams very nice same here so it's kind of this looks like park lights this just looks like low beams and then fog lights here there's also an, an ESP ASR. I'm not really sure what this is, but it doesn't look good because something's blinking. I'm not sure when you disable that and what that even is, so you guys let me know in the comments, okay? Over here we have the menu. I'm not really sure what it does. If it changes anything in the front, because I cannot really scroll here. I can't move my mouse to just look. And when I'm here in the driver's view, I can't really click on anything, so I'm not sure if I, anything changes there in front. We'll just have to check it out later. Okay, here we can uh, lower the window shades. Very nice. Left and right. For when it's sunny, that will come in handy later. Destination display, yeah, that's something that we can use. And then we can uh, open and close the windows as well for the driver. And here is the heating. We don't need heating here, I doubt it. It's 24 degrees Celsius outside. This one is. Oh! Sorry about that. Uh, here we go again. We'll need to do that one more time. Sorry, but uh, we'll have to do it. Okay, we'll not be doing that again. That's way too loud, my goodness. Ah, my ears. Oh. Oh, I'm still reeling. One sec. Okay. Air conditioning is here. There you go. Now we can hear it open. Driver fan. We can turn that on as well. And we can adjust the air conditioning temperature there. That's 21.5. Yeah, I think that's good enough. Good. Alright. Yeah, so we actually have a job. A simple job that will take us from this repainting area. To the airport just for a quick uh, test drive but I don't think it's happening yet it's still on the 27th so I think we can actually make it faster like so wait for it oh crap data volume is used up maybe that's because I uh, kept it open for quite a long time huh oh man that might not have been a good move Where's the fuel level? That looks really good, huh? The lighting has a very 90s vibe to it, even the panels. Is this a 90s bus? Or maybe just the, the feel of it? It's pretty cool though. Yeah, that might have not been the best move. Resting when the bus is open. I thought they, it would automatically turn it off. So we've been in the bus for like three days. <laughs> Rip. Okay, that's fine. We'll uh, make use of it. Uh, let's have a look at the contract. If we look at the Wi-Fi service. Yeah, nothing is left. We can extend it, I guess. Extend it by one gig. There you go. Just so our passengers would have something. Because Wi-Fi is life. <laughs> Nowadays. Right. Let's go to the <coughs> the hotel. Let me go to the map. There we go. That is where we should be going. Cas Hotel Casablanca. Four star hotel looks like. Right? Let's go in reverse. Why does it look bright bright in the uh, rear view cam? And dark here. Oh just in the shadow, okay. Gotcha. The beeping is very loud, even from inside the cab. It's nice that it's loud, but I think it's a bit too loud. It's uh, it's a bit too much, especially inside the cab, and the windows are closed. That should be less loud. Okay, one sec. I'm hoping there are no cars. Let's open our hazard lights. Um, wait a minute. Which was that again? I think it's this one. Okay, it doesn't work. Never mind. Okay. 
Okay. That looks good. Oh crap, that's a bit too close to that car. I think we'll have to go forward a bit. And maybe we can just climb a curb here. Let's not make it hard for ourselves. There we go, now we're on the road. Do we need lights? Oh, very bumpy here. There we go, all the passengers. I'm not sure if we can actually fit them all. But we can try. Indicator sounds are there. Very nice. Okay, folks, how's everybody doing? We are on time, right? I think so. Because it's only 7.49 and we leave at 8 a.m. Oh, look at those mountains from the distance there. Looks so good. Alright, parking brake. Go to neutral and... Uh, maybe we can take a photo first before anything else. <laughs> no, later, later. Do the job first before we do our dilly-dallying. Alright, so let's open all the doors. Are they going to teleport in? Can't remember this. Or do we have to check them in one by one? Let's open the doors as well here. That's good. Open the doors. And do we have to check you guys in? Oh my goodness, yes we do. Okay, clumsy tours. Is there no QR code here? It's not a thing. Alfie Wood. Can you not, like... Yeah. There it is. Oh my goodness, I have to do this one by one. Yeah, I'm just going to check the shuttle service if it's clumsy tours. Is this new? They actually speak Spanish now. That's pretty cool. Oh no, not everyone. Oh, there's English, it's written in their Spanish. That is very nice. Nice variety. Yes. Wow, different languages, even French. Different accents. I love it. More. More passenger models, actually. Very cool. Muchas gracias. <laughs> Johnny Bravo is still here. I remember you. Sure. Guten Tag. What's good morning in Spanish? I forgot. Oi hoi, you are not. He didn't even say anything. Hello there. Is this ticket here correct? Much appreciated. Lots of Johnny Bravo sounds. Muchas gracias. Sometimes it kind of sounds like uh, in the auto generated voice. Well, we are like a 50 seater, so we should be fine. No, you are not riding on my bus. Salut. Servus. Is this ticket here richtig? Danke. Servus. Is this Aventura. No. This guy's our last guy. There we go. Perfect. Everybody on board? Lady. Are you going somewhere? Okay. Disappeared into nothingness. That's fine. Let's close the doors. All the bags are there. That looks actually quite good, doesn't it? Yeah, the bags are even randomly placed in there. Very nice model. Although I guess they still kind of fade in and fade out. I didn't see them ride or climb up the bus. Everybody looks cozy. Johnny Bravos are intact. 
We are good to go. Let's close the doors. All right. Do we have to start the trip or anything? I don't think so. Yeah, we can just go. Take it and go. All right. Go to drive. Parking brake release. Whoa. She just kicks out like that. Getting a bit framey here in these parts. Yeah, getting really framey now. They might have changed a lot in the graphics department. But overall, I like the lighting. It does feel more dynamic, although the frame rates seem to have suffered. Or I'm not sure if it's this bus. It does look pretty good though. Maybe it will uh, even out later. That guy is taking things too literally. He's just stopping. And not going at all. Bro! No one's there. Okay. Oh, don't tell me this guy's going to the to our lane. Okay, perfect. Maybe he kind of slipped. Oh, and now he turns. <laughs> okay, AI might need a bit of work. But AI is never perfect in any game. So no surprises there. It's a very hard thing to do. And sometimes the imperfections are quite realistic with regard to human behavior, so it's not that bad. Sometimes it depends on the intensity. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, definitely have to be very careful with the AI. And yes, my frame rates are really suffering bad. And I'm not sure why, because I'm looking at my utilization here. CPU cores threads not really getting maxed out not even 50% in any of the threads GPU is getting 40% utilized memory is good so yeah I don't have an idea what is causing the bottleneck so far might be the graphics engine but this is unreal so that shouldn't happen it's unreal that this is happening even <laughs> anyway we need the lights. Yeah, th those look very cool. Let's keep them on. I do have everything on epic settings though. I might need to turn some things down. I remember the performance was better before though. It might be because they introduced a lot of graphical improvements. So they probably the requirements also came up quite a bit. But yeah, I wanted to make this video mainly to check this new bus out and also to, get to check you guys out because uh, I wanted to check if people are interested in the tourist bus sim. I've gotten a few requests before but I wasn't sure if people really like it. Man, that looks so good. And I like that we're actually going to the airport because as you guys might have seen if you've been uh, tuning into the channel recently and I've really fallen in love with the flight simulator, with aviation in general. I just want to fly the whole day. It's so good. So going here, maybe we can do some kind of connected trip. I take passengers to the airport here using the shuttle service. And then we continue things off in X-Plane, fly from Fuerteventura to somewhere. Because that can be a thing. I do like the rear view mirror though. Looks pretty good. You can see the passengers. You can see the uh, the landscape actually moving. It looks pretty high quality. Maybe that's what's causing the performance uh, problem, because mirrors have always been a quite a drain on the performance because of the rendering things, duplicate rendering and all that stuff. This is very nice. And yeah, this is a route we're really familiar with before. But with a different bus, different sounds, different updates, it's a good checkpoint to get in touch with everyone again. Check everyone again if you guys are good with this series or would you rather have trucking videos, stuff like that. Some people are actually into buses more. But if you were into buses, do you want tourist bus sim, fern bus, or bus simulator 18? 
or none of the above bus okay we stay on the right lane if this is to be followed and we stick to this lane here there's one bus where are we going to stop here okay there it is I think in front man I love the view though seeing those mountains from afar I think they definitely improved the lighting yeah just look at that view that just looks so good it's a bit weird though because you can see the orange circles on top of the passengers and they're actually jutting out of the bus mm, that's a bit weird but yeah that looks so good doesn't it seeing those mountains from afar like that just a surreal view feels very vacationish oh man this is lovely kind of miss this game to be honest it does have its hiccups not as smooth but overall i really missed it okay we are here just a quick one guys can go down there we go they're actually yeah okay yeah i remember that now they're actually going down into the bus so like they're not getting to their seats exactly but they are like popping up here and then going down the stairs so they're halfway there halfway there let's open the doors for them and they're kind of still disappearing out of nowhere but i guess it's uh it's a work in progress get your bags guys do we, do we have to check you out or something get the bags from here i don't know Have a look what these guys will be waiting for. There we go. 30 valid passengers transported. That is quick. No passenger has been left. <laughs> that's a, that's always good. 100 percent Imagine that. Nice. Plus 1000 XP. Now the thing is. Did I miss a step, guys? Because in Fern Bus, when you open the doors, they get their bags automatically and they leave. Here, they're still waiting for me. There we go. I think it just didn't trigger a while ago. Hmm. Or maybe I close it. disappears and then comes back again i have no idea maybe there's a bug somewhere man that looks good the lighting definitely looks better the performance might have suffered a bit but it definitely looks a lot better okay, let's close all the doors let's see if this works Yeah, I don't think it works. I'm trying if there's some kind of combination that we haven't done. Nope. What the heck are you guys? I'm out of here. I got paid already, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to base and let's end the episode there. I kind of am craving for a bit more driving, so let's do it one more time. Let's keep their bags. <laughs> you don't want your bags? I'll, that's fine. I can, I'm sure I can find somewhere I can buy it from or sell it to. Yeah, they don't want their bags. All good with me. All good with me. Good. Let me double check. Um, I think we can set the route here. It's a very nice road system. We can go and say, go back to the office. There you go. Oh, that's a lot of roundabouts. I like it. All right, let's do that. Wow, that bus just kicks in, huh? Kicks out like, uh, doesn't weigh anything. Bus lane? Do we need to stay here in this lane? We can do that. Just to simulate it. 
exit airport bus station front there yeah, we're exiting the airport so we are moving to the left but I think we still have our own lane here yeah this one very nice or did we could we have gone through there oh that's fine let's just go and stick to the bus lane just to be on the safe side yeah I remember this spot, yeah. And over there is where we had our car wash. Yeah, I remember. Can we fill up as well? Because I'm not sure what our levels are. Because we kind of left the bus open with engine on for four days when we accelerated the time. So we lost all Wi Fi. So I'm guessing also the, the fuel suffered a bit there. And this is a bit tight, huh? And this is still with the smallest bus. Um, hello? Maybe I need to... There you go. Ah, okay, that didn't get affected. Good. I do like the sounds here though. I still remember that. There you go. Good. 1890. Would've been nice if we can like really go down in the refill. The tanks from below since we can go down the bus anyway but it's okay one step closer to full immersion all right off we go let's just clear that part and then we can turn all right there we go the perks of having a shorter bus over here take it slow and steady i have to be very very relaxed or very uh, light on the pedal because it really pushes you through if i like go 100 percent here like now okay it's not that bad yeah it, it's only that bad when it's the beginning like from a full stop and then you start moving it just kicks out so you have to be re really gentle with the pedal when you're starting the bus otherwise it kicks out and it feels like it jumps at you it feels a bit weird but yeah man the lighting looks really good doesn't it it's weird though there are no planes it's an airport but i haven't seen a plane yet and i cannot help but compare it with bus simulator 18 with the new dlc with the map extension DLC they have, they actually have airplanes arriving, even if those planes don't have landing gears. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit weird. I remember in the intro though, there was a plane. The intro when you start the game here, I think there was a plane. Maybe they haven't modeled it in, in a normal uh, scenario. I do miss driving here in this game though. The force feedback is a lot better than before, it definitely feels something, especially when you go through some of the bumps, sometimes it's a bit too much actually, but you can actually uh, modify that a bit, it's, a, it's possible to change the settings to make it less uh, violent, because a while ago I was testing it out, I think I hit a curb or something, and my entire desktop shook. My monitor shook, my track IR fell out of alignment, <laughs> so it's a bit too much. But yeah, it's just a matter of tweaking it. And look at the lighting here, so vibrant colors. Very nice, I like it. I'm not sure what our graphics experts would say if this is too uh, vivid, but I kind of like it. For me, it looks very natural to my uh, layman's eyes. Those mountains would love to fly over those not fly into them but fly over them <laughs> if you guys know the incident in the near miss incident when we were starting x-plane i think that was in tenerife the volcano incident anyway you guys let me know if you are interested in seeing more videos of tourist bus sim I'd be happy to make more, but uh, the, the, the interest has to be there. So we're going to base it based on the number of likes, number of comments, number of views. 
and if it looks good then we will continue because uh, yeah, it has to be the right balance in the channel right good let's go and clean up turn off everything I don't think we really need to turn everything off maybe driver monitor can stay on uh, that looks good turn off air conditioning I like that the sounds are actually reflected as well and now we can turn off the engine nice door please thank you all right and let's get those bags find a seller find a buyer <laughs> free stuff anyway okay let's leave it there guys let's leave it there really enjoyed this video hope you guys did too thanks for watching have a nice day catch you in the next one if ever okay let me know what you think thanks and clumsy bussing bye bye